Hello everyone, welcome to the third iOS development tutorial. In previous part, I explained how to create Hello World application, which you can find the link on the top right corner of this video. In this tutorial, I'll show you the important components of Xcode, and I'll skip from some advanced components, and of course we'll explain it in the future tutorial. So let's move on. Okay, here is where we left last time. Here's the Hello World application. And I'm going to start from the header or toolbar. Let's start from the first icon, which is play button that you can see here. And you can assume that this is a run button. If you want to run the application, just press this button and it will start running. And if you want to, of course, stop the program, you just stop by this button. It's the cube. Let's not worry about this. This is just the target of the application. You don't want to worry about this. but this is important. This is where you can select the device that you want to run. For example, if you want to run an iPhone, Retina display, 3.5 inch, you will select this. If you want a Retina 4 inch, select this. Or iPad, or even the device that you have on your, that you set on your uh, Xcode. So, this is the first part of the header. Here you can see the status of the application and uh, if it succeeds it means that the build is succeed. If it's running it says it's loading and you can see the status of the application and you can see the name of the application also here and also here the file that you have selected and the navigator that which I will explain it later. We have some buttons here. The first one is the uh, standard editor. So if I zoom out, you can see by clicking on this button, you can see one editor at the same time. But if I click on the next button, which is Tuxedo, you can see two editors at the same time, which is the first one is here, the second one is here. So you can edit two files at the same time. And the next one is uh, version editor. So if I click on this, you can see one file with two versions. For example, if you edited previous, you can see you can go through the date and choose whatever date that you want and compare the code from the previous time. You just have uh, the standard view. So. I'm not going through too much detail this time. But let's go to the next icon, which is the hide and show navigator. If I click on this button, I can hide and show the left hand side, which is navigator. And the same thing for this button, which is for the log or debug area. If I click on it, I can hide and show this part of the view. And this button is for hide and show the utilities on the right hand side let me zoom in yeah this button here is for hide and show the utilities yes so this is for header now let's talk about the left sidebar the Xcode which is navigator and as you can see it includes all of the default file and all of the classes that you can start programming with these classes and later on we can add all of the class that we want and we can we want to customize them so in the first tab you can see the navigator and is a project navigator and includes all of the frameworks all of the test cases that you want and all of the supporting files images and everything that you need to create the application and and in the second tab, you can see Find Menu, which you can search for any keyword of your in your classes. So whatever word that you think in you want to search in your classes, you can search from here. And here, uh, it's a warning uh, navigator and it will show all of the errors and warnings inside of your application. We'll discuss about this tab. Uh, later on and here it is the test case and it shows all of the test cases in the same place and uh, for you and if you run the test case it will show which test pass which is not so uh, for each 
tab, we have a bottom bar which is here. Let's not about not worry about this plus. This plus is uh, just for creating new class, but we don't use it. And this button, which is showing the recent file, if I zoom out and just click on this button, it will show all of the recent files that I recently changed. And with this search bar here, I can search for any classes that is included in my application. For example, if I'm looking for app delegate, as soon as I start writing in the navigator, if I zoom out, it just show all of the classes that is started with app. So this is handy for the search for classes. This is different from this search. This search is searching for all keywords inside of the class. For example, if I want to search for, <coughs> excuse me, point, I'll search here, say point, and it returns all of the points that I'm looking. Okay, let's go to the right hand side and go to the utilities. Utilities consist of two parts, the um, top bar and a bottom bar and uh, these tabs appears uh, when you click on the storyboard here and storyboard if you click on here these tabs comes into place if you don't click on the storyboard you just have these two tabs but by clicking on the storyboard uh, it will show more tabs which is here uh, we'll discuss about all of these tabs later on. Uh, these are the attributes of the elements and we will discuss later on. But what is important here right now is the object libraries which is here. And, and you can see each element. Uh, for example, if I stay on this table view, it will show me some explanation of the table and a uh, collection view cell. We'll discuss all of these later on. And the simple elements, which is which I already show you, is a label. And you can, for example, add a button here by just drag and drop the button to the view. Or you can add a segment, which is uh, here, switch first and second eh, or text field or a slider these are the elements that you may need in your view based on your design this is the activity progress and progress bar and all of the elements that you will need for your view so we'll discuss about this objects and each elements in detail. I just want to show you where you can find these elements and what are the important part of the Xcode's components. In future uh, tutorials I will go through deep explanation of each elements and how we can use them.